Good day, students. My name is Fanny Sunday Olateju, your literature and English teacher. Our topic for today's literature lesson is discussion of common mistakes in literature. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to interpret literary tests, analyze examination questions, discuss the features of literary tests, explain the events in the literary tests, and appreciate the literary works. Lesson Introduction English language and literature in English are twin brothers in the study of language. Just like students make some mistakes in English, also in literature, students do make mistakes. Some of the common mistakes are 1. Grammatical errors. The mistakes come in many forms and can easily uh, confuse and obscure meanings. Some common errors are dangling modifiers, wrong use of prepositions, subject verb agreement, tenses, punctuations, misspells of words, and Atlantis constructions of English sentences. Two, another mistake is called misop. Misop is a mistake caused by confusion about something. Misop of names, events, and settings in a particular test is a clear indication that students are not paying attention to the narratives. In the play, Harvest of Corruption, SCP Yakubu is a beginning of quotation. Disciplinarian policeman to the core who has cracked so many cases to his credit. End of quotation, page 22. CP Andrew is a police commissioner and an embodiment of corruption. When a student writes that SCP Yakubu is a corrupt policeman and CP Andrew is an impeccable character, this is a good example of misop. 3. Author's language and student's language. Some authors use the regional varieties of English language in their literary works. A regional or social variety of a language is characterized by its own phonological, syntactic, and lexical properties. A variety spoken in a particular region is called a regional dialect or regiolect or geolect. In the play, Fences, the playwright August Winston uses African-American vernacular English throughout, as in beginning of quotation. I got to sell my plum. I don't sold some tomatoes. Got me two quarters. Wanna see? I'm gonna save them. End of quotation, page 33. Students are not expected to use this variety, but standard English to answer their questions in the exam. Memory work. Do not memorize the whole poem and write the whole poem in the, in the exam to answer the question on poem. You can memorize some lines or important words to buttress your answer in the poetic devices, but not the whole poem. 
Students, we will pause here briefly. When we come back, we will consider some of the mistakes in literature. Students, welcome to the second segment, which is continuation of common errors in literature. Four, irrelevant content. It is common that students get caught up in the details of their answers and added some materials that are unrelated to the questions. In this regard, we caution the student not to write the author's life history or fabricate any story. Also, this is an all too often occurrence that students write the names of political leaders dead or alive in their essay. In the play Harvest of Corruption, Chief Aladu Adiyamaka is a corrupt politician and Minister of External Relations. Adiyamaka must not be linked with any politician in Africa. 5. Illegible handwriting If your handwriting is horrible and difficult to read, your success is at stake. A student's inability to write his answer in a legible form will possibly slow down his progress. The poor handwriting often frustrates teachers and results in lower grades. Moreover, better handwriting consistently received higher scores than those with poor handwriting regardless of of the quality of content. Six, bad organization and structure. This is perhaps the most common error since badly organized answer can mar students' success. If you don't write a plan beforehand, you risk losing your train of thought forgetting what you are going to say or or write things incoherently and in wrong order on top of white examination paper it is common to instruct the students beginning of quotation credit will be given for orderly presentation of materials end of quotation seven Wrong interpretation of exam questions. During the WAEC or NECO three day coordination exercise that always precedes the marking proper, it is common to assess the exam scripts and comments such as question not answered. A lot of miss up, unintelligent, etc. The reason for these bad comments are based on the wrong interpretations of the examination questions. It is better to read the question very carefully and then read it again to help you thoroughly absorb exactly what the question is asking. You can sample or underline important words to keep you on track in the sample question like discuss the character and role of Ma Tsuru in the novel Faceless. The key words are discuss Character, role, and matasuru. Other question like examine three poetic devices in the poem Vanity. The question says three poetic devices, three and poetic devices in the poem Vanity. Don't write the content of the vanity. Go straight to the three devices you mentioned and you buttress your point with the content of the poem. Students, we will pause here briefly 
when we come back we will continue with examination of common errors in literature Students, welcome to the third segment, which is the continuation of a confused terms in literature. Some commonly confused literary terms like personification and apostrophe create problems for students. The difference between personification and apostrophe is that personification gives human qualities to animals, objects, or abstractions, as in Maya Angelou's poem titled Cage Bird. We are beginning of quotation. The cage bird sings with frightful trill. End of quotation. Lines 15 to 16. Here, cage bird assumed the position of a musician. Whereas, apostrophe is a sudden exclamatory piece of dialogue addressed to someone absent or abstraction, as John Donne addressed death does, beginning of quotation. Death be not proud, though some have called thee mighty and dreadful. End of quotation. Here Donne speaks to death an abstract idea, as if it were a person capable of comprehending his feelings. Secondly, another pair of terms that confuse students is synedoche and metonymy. In synedoche, a part of something is substituted for the whole thing or vice versa, as in Mark Antony addressed the Roman mob in Julius Caesar does. Beginning of quotation. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. End of quotation. In this context, here is a part of human beings represent a whole Roman citizens. In metonymy, we use something more generally or loosely associated with a concept to stand for it. For example, British writers always mention crown when they are really discussing the powers, authorities, and responsibility of the monarch, which symbolizes by a crown. Thirdly, another terms that bewilder the learners are monologue, aside, and soliloquy. An aside is a brief comment directed towards the audience and is not heard by other characters present on the stage. A soliloquy is a speech by a single actor on the stage. The actor is alone on the stage and speaks to himself. The audience can hear the soliloquy, but it is not directed towards the audience. In Shakespeare, Hamlet. Hamlet says, beginning of quotation, to be or not to be, that is the question. End of quotation. We are asked, monologue is also known as dramatic monologue. It is a long speech directed by a character or poet persona to the imagined audience or passive listeners, as it is used in the poem of D. H. Lawrence. But questions differentiate between aside and soliloquy. Two, what is dramatic monologue? Three, give example of apostrophe. 
give examples of apostrophe. Thank you.